economic data released yesterday in the US again confirmed that the American economy is losing momentum due to the elevated interest rates set by the central bank. In the minutes of the June meeting of the Fed Reserve published the day before, it was also recognized that inflationary pressure is going down. This document put the dollar in a difficult position and brought some relief to the yen. However, the dollar yen is still pinned at a 38-year low of 161.53. Thus, traders are braced for the government intervention in Forex. Given that fundamental factors are unfavorable for the yen, Japan's intervention in the currency market is not excluding, excluded even today. The previous two rounds of the yen buying were carried out during a lull in the global markets, and today the US stock exchanges are closed on the occasion of an Independence Day. At the same time, the reason for intervention is not the yen's extreme lows, but it's a strong volatility. However, the current consolidation of the dollar yen pair does not fall into this category. The US non farm payrolls act as the main catalyst for the US dollar these days. The report will be published tomorrow, and the market is adjusting sentiment to this crucial employment report. Judging by yesterday's CDP employment report, the non farm payrolls may ultimately live up to forecast in June and to come out lower. At least the US private sector employment rose less than expected last month, according to the ADP payroll processor. On the contrary, initial claims for unemployment benefits increased last week. At the same time, factory orders and business activity in the services sector unexpectedly fell, so traders fear that tomorrow's employment data in the US will also be weaker than forecast are quite justified. In the light of such data, the sharp fall of the US dollar index on a Wednesday, as well as its move to a lower range of 105.10 to 105.40, looks quite logical. Thus, the market is reacting to evidence that the Fed Reserve may begin cutting the funds rate earlier. You can learn more about the impact of the various economic reports on the currency market from our video traders calendar. Another significant factor of pressure on the US dollar and its position in the major currency peers is politics, both foreign and internal. The thing is that last week's debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump launched the Democratic Party and its supporters into panic. Yesterday, publications began to appear in the media suggesting that Joe Biden might withdraw his candidacy from the upcoming presidential election. It means uncertainty in the long-term outlook for the US dollar thus entailing its sales. At the same time, the dollar's peers in the basket of currencies are, on the contrary, gaining ground on the back of a political events. For example, the pound sterling strengthened against the US dollar to three-week highs, as the UK is electing a new parliament today. Experts believe that the new government will be a little closer to the European Union, and this con convergence could provide a more favorable environment for the economy and would be positive for both the British pound and the euro. Curiously, the euro, like the US dollar, also suffers from political uncertainty in anticipation of the election outcome. The second round is scheduled for Sunday, until then the euro remains under pressure. However, today there is a search in the bullish activity in the euro-dollar pair. As traders are adding more long positions, the euro was even able to break through the resistance around the, the, uh, around the level of 1.08. To continue growth, the pearls need to settle the price above this level. In this case, the euro will begin to recover following the recent correction. Otherwise, a reverse movement may occur in the direction of the upper border of the previously passed range. Apparently, oil prices were also influenced by political forecasts, in particular, some confusion 
was caused by the news that the US Democratic Party may nominate another candidate in the upcoming presidential elections instead of its current leader, Joe Biden. The benchmark brand is not showing clear growth today, but there are preconditions for this. First, the US dollar has weakened, and secondly, according to the US Department of Energy, crude oil inventories fell by 12.2 million barrels last week. But this did not affect oil prices. Meanwhile, Brent crude is still trading in the range of 86.50 to 87.10 dollars per barrel. Such consolidation is even for the better because today is a public holiday in the US, so investors can take a break and watch what is going on in the oil market. Importantly, the brand price has rallied by 13% over the past four weeks. In terms of a technical analysis, crude oil is currently overbought, however, bearing in mind that inertial scenario on the absence of a full-scale pullback. The bullish sentiment still dominates the oil market. You have watched a roundup of the global financial markets for today, July 4. Keep close tabs on the global markets on the InstaForex TV channel. Feel free to leave your comments. Our experts are always ready to answer all your questions. Thank you for watching and see you online tomorrow.